Today's blogging question is about Pinterest and your blog post. Jen asked, how do you create multiple pins and then hide them in the blog post so they only show up when someone goes to pin the blog? This is a great question. A lot of people are asking me this and wondering because of the movement to create multiple fresh pins for every post. So what do you do with them? And do they even need to be in the blog post, right? So that's what we're going to cover is do all of your pins need to be in the blog post and how you can effectively hide them in there so they're not taking up space in your article, but they are available when people click the pin it button or save it button. So first, do you need to have all of your pins inside your blog post? And the answer is no, you don't. <laughs> you can upload them directly to Pinterest and save from there and let them circulate it. Now, the reason people want them inside the blog post for them to be saved is because it gives them options to save something that's relevant and useful for them when people are directly on your site. Now, when people save from your site, it improves your domain rank on Pinterest. So this is good. You want people saving content from your site. And the more variety of images they have out there saving from is also good because they consider them as new pin creates in the Pinterest world. So it is a good practice. You don't have to hide your pins though. If you don't want to, if you just want to have, you always need to have at least one pin image in there but if you don't want to hide all of them you don't have to but if you do want to hide them here is my preferred recommendation and it's also the one recommended from Pinterest the only downfall of this method is that it requires you having some sort of images already in there because it piggybacks off of that image so basically the image is a placeholder and then the code tells it hey instead of saving this image save this image instead so that's the only requirement. So let me switch my computer and I'll show you how we go about coding this. All right, so say this is your blog post and you have one horizontal image in here, or maybe you have a vertical image in here, but it doesn't have your Pinterest graphics in here already. So you need to have one image in here already. Then what you're gonna do is click on that block, click the drop down, and select edit as HTML. And we are gonna add code into this image to make it so that when someone clicks the pin it button, either up here or on your social media sharing buttons or on the hover button even, um, your pinnable image show, shows up. So I've got that code for you over on my site, how to hide pins. Um, to just easy copy and paste. Okay, so what I do is I come in here to this closing tag from the image source and I just hit enter right there. And make sure I always paste as a plain text because sometimes the quotation marks don't transfer properly. I get emails about that all the time. So paste as a plain text. This is going to ensure that our quotation marks show up. So the data pin URL, this is the URL for the blog post. This is going to ensure that the image sticks with the blog post. So, um, if you don't have the permalink yet, you want to make sure to definitely save the permalink first before doing that. And then the pin media. Now this is going to be the media or the pin image that you want to show up. So open up your media, I already have mine here, and upload the image if it's not yet. And then if it is, you're going to select it and you're going to copy this link right here. You're going to go back to your post. Um, <laughs> WordPress is gonna freak out because we haven't finished editing yet. Just go back to HTML to fix it. Go ahead and paste in your media. And then right here, you are gonna write your super helpful and descriptive description that you want to go along with the pin description. All right, so there we have it. Now we can go ahead and preview it. And my internet's slow thing, so there you are. All right, so if you look at the blog post, you can see that the pinnable image is not there. We just have our cover image. But when somebody clicks this save button, this is the pinnable image version. Pinterest just gives us a square version. Or alternatively, if we click this button up here, our pinnable image comes there. Oh, so does my new fab icon. <laughs> I need to make that so it's not pinnable but there is our pinnable image there, okay? So that is how you hide Pinterest images with the code provided from Pinterest. 
The second way to hide pinnable images is with a popular code, code <laughs> called display none. And this one is a little bit easier to code and you don't need an image already in there. But there are two problems with this method. The first is when you use this method, it slows down your load time for that site because all of the images load and then the code hides it. So even though you're not seeing it and it is technically hidden, it is adding into your load time. And we know that page speed is so important. And the second reason is that if you are already in the edge of being considered spammy on Google or Google already finds some other issues with your site, they might see this as you trying to keyword stuff or uh, manipulate the ranking system, okay? Um, how likely? Mm, who knows, but with Google, I want to give it my best fighting chance. So those are the two reasons why I don't recommend doing the display none method. Now, I do have a workaround for you. For those of you who are like, I don't have any images in the post, and that is you can go to my site and grab this little Pinterest image, and basically it's a call to action, right? It's a pin me for later type thing, and that can be the image that you can hide another image be behind. Another thing that I like doing is actually not hiding the images and that's using the gallery function um, I love Gutenberg galleries and you can put three images in there add a call to action at the bottom of your post say like it save it and you can have one two three different images which is plenty enough to have inside your blog post so Jen I hope we answered your question about how to hide pins good luck and we can't wait to see all of your blog posts with hidden pins take care bye